Hey everyone, I've got a controversial topic for you today at Active Self Protection Extra on today's Mantis Dry Fire Monday video. And that is the use of a timer, the use of an actual measuring system. That which gets measured gets worked on. So I wanna to talk to you about using a timer in your training. The new Mantis X10 firearms performance system has all the goodness of the original, plus holster draw analysis and recoil analysis. It's a fantastic upgrade and I recommend it highly. So a timer, I have heard people say, well, you know, John, there are no timers in a gunfight. And, and to me, honestly, quite frankly, that's bupkis. That's totally a lie. There's a timer in a gunfight. In fact, you have the rest of your life to get shots on target. You just don't know what the part time is. You don't know what time you have available. But, but hear me, absolutely. You may not get a shooter ready standby beep, but there is absolutely a timer in a gunfight. I usually come back and say there's no cliches in a gunfight, but there's an awful lot of principles and nobody who ever got done actually defending their life with a pistol was wishing that they were less accurate and slower with that pistol. Well, how are you gonna get faster and more accurate? Well, here's an adage of all adult learning principles. That which gets measured gets worked on. Simple as that. You can take that into your business life. If you're a manager of people, what you measure, people will work on. If you're an educator, what are you measuring? Student grade and learning outcomes, that's what they're going to work on. And in your defensive training, I, I mean, gosh guys, here's the thing, in your shooting, what else are you going to measure rather than how accurate and how fast you can do those things? This is the measure of defensive gunfighting. How fast can I get the gun out and shots on target? If you've watched the main channel, you have heard me say that draw and first shot from the, the, sta the stimulus is absolutely most important. And then follow-up shots in anatomically significant places absolutely incredibly important. So using a timer is incredibly important to doing that. So here I have probably the most popular timer out there. This is the uh, Pocket Pro 2 from Cons uh, Competition Electronics. You can get this guy for like 110 bucks or something on Amazon. Now th that's quite a bit, I'll give you that, but it works really good. Uh, batteries last okay. Pretty simple to program too. I'm not gonna show you about how all to do that, but this guy's pretty simple and is an easy one that you can use. If you're bougie and you got lots of money, you can get one of these AMG Labs command these guys are a little bit more expensive than that. I think, uh, gosh, I have to remember, I think I paid about 180 bucks for this one. And um, the cool part of this one is, is it uh, is very programmable. You can have multiple part times and keep multiple strings of fire and see those things. It'll also pick up dry fire, which um, is pretty cool for a, a timer that is built for the range. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt to program, quite frankly. It's got you know five buttons on it and you gotta kinda go, how do I get all this done to program it correctly? But it works really well for what it is and there's another timer. I've recently been playing with this one. This is a Range Tech BT. This one uh, doesn't have a display on it because it connects to your smartphone via an app. Um, the neat part of this one is you can put this on, uh, you know, whoever it is you're timing, use the app to start it and it'll start here, wander and follow them around so you don't have to follow them around with a timer if you're doing those things. Or you can actually you know, put this on your belt, hit the button, uh, and it, the app will keep up with you from wherever you set your phone. You can move and do all that stuff. That's really cool. Of course, your smartphone has apps as well. You can get shot timers on those and they can work really well for your dry fire. You just gotta set your part times and all those things. Again, they, they won't actually register any dry fire reps, uh, almost any of them. I've never seen one that'll actually register dry fire app uh, reps, but they can if you have a quiet range, specifically an outdoor range work. Okay, if you don't want to invest any money more than a couple bucks on an app. And now, of course, y'all know I tend to use the Mantis X10 and all awful lot because it gives me more data than that, but works great as a shot timer as well. And we could do some really cool stuff with it that it gives us some things to improve. So just as one for instance, if you've been watching us here on Active Self Protection Extra and you have been watching for any kind of length at all, you know that we time that draw to first shot and we say that there are some objective standards, 2.0, 1.5, 1.0, that give you your time to respond in an armed robbery and launch a counter ambush. So I'm just gonna show you again, I've got a bare, you know, a, a mag block in here. Got my Mantis X10 on a, uh, uh, a magazine that I'm gonna put in my P30. And we're gonna just do a couple of holster draw analysis so I can just see where I'm at today. So you can see the value of measuring. Let's, let's be honest here. I have been shooting a bunch, but I haven't been training my draw to first shot as often as I could. I went on vacation over Thanksgiving. And then, yes, I had one class, but then I had a whole bunch of other stuff and it's been Christmas time. And so I haven't been doing my dry fire as much as I might like to. And therefore, I just wanna see where I am today. Um, I, I haven't warmed up or anything like that. Let's see what the holster draw analysis says, shall we? Stand by. Oh, a little bit low on that one, actually. Stand. 
standby. That was a good shot. Got an A zone there. Oh, that was a pretty spicy one. Actually, it shows a little slow, but that's interesting. Felt pretty good. Stand by. Good shot, saw my dot. Stand by. Saw the dot there. Did good. Let's stop that. So you can see here, here's some things that I'm doing. 9-9 nine, nine on my very first shot at the top. You can see my total there. 9-2, uh, one flat. A one twelve at the highest. I actually felt like that was fast, but it really wasn't. So we're going to see uh, what was there. A 9-2 and a 102. So now here's some interesting bits here. I do want you to notice my one twelve was because I spent .07 with the gun on target, but before I pressed the trigger. So if you see here, here are my grip times. Um, I was actually a little slower my last couple on the grip, which is uh, not encouraging for me. I need to get faster on that. But from there to pull the gun, to get the gun horizontal, to get the gun on target and the shot to break, um, pretty quick all things considered. So you know my average is there. If you were looking and you were seeing all of those, it actually shows me where my muzzle is at the time that things are coming, which is kind of cool. Gives me all kinds of information about that. But really what I wanted you to see, really for the sake of this, is what my times were, is what I'm actually measuring. And because of that, what you can see is that it's getting measured. And because of that, I'm able to work on speed. Now, that doesn't by itself just go faster, go faster, make it that way. But now I know. I know how long did it take me to get my hand on the holster. I know it, how long did it take me to get the gun out. How long did it take me to drive the gun forward. How long did it take me to do these various things. And because I know, I can work on it. Let me show it to you with a, a more traditional timer. Okay, so here's what I do when I use my uh, Pocket Pro. I just clip it to my pocket like this. Now, I've got it set to a random beep. I've got it set to a quiet beep because I'm here in my home and there's no reason for a real loud beep. And then a part time of 1.0 seconds. Now I'm aiming at a one third size uh, IDPA target that is two and a half yards away from me. So that's the equivalent of seven and a half yards. I'm close enough. That's fine for me. And my goal is to get A zone hits to see my dot, press the shot off and beat the one second part time for this. Let's get a look. Ooh, now I had a little hitch there because I didn't get my fingers all the way in it. That wasn't a great draw. Let's try again. Better, and I was ahead of it there, and I saw my dot on the A zone. It was a high A zone hit. Yes, and I was ahead there, but it was a Charlie. So I was to the right a little bit. I need to grip a little bit harder with my support hand. That would have been a Charlie. Shot calling, an important part of your defensive training, but we'll leave that for another day. Stab, crash, drive, press. Yep, and I had a beautiful A zone hit on that and was right on it. So you can see, I can adjust that part time to wherever I am and then be working on something. Me, you heard me at that last one kind of use my mantra, stab the gun out of the holster, crash my support hand onto the gun and upward, drive the gun to my, to my sights, to the target, press the trigger as the gun goes. And so that's what's making me build my speed currently. So that which gets measured gets worked on. So buy yourself a timer for gracious sakes. I don't have uh, a, 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 you know, a relationship with any of these, with the, the Pocket Pro Competition Electronics folks, with the Range tech folks, with the AMG Labs folks. Mantis is an absolutely a sponsor of the channel. I use it all the time. In fact, we've got some really cool stuff coming in the next couple of months with Mantis in terms of what we're helping people do with it that I'm going to bring to you. So stand by for that. It, it is, I think, changing the games in terms of how people train with firearms and how good they can get from even a basic level. So hang in there with that. But of course, do I recommend the Mantis? Yes, I do, because it's awesome, right? And even before any sponsorships, it's a cool unit and I use it as a firearms trainer. But get a timer. Work on stuff. This week, what are you going to work on? I don't care. Whatever it is you're working on this week, work on it on the timer. Find yourself, what am I at today? And then work to improve that. That which gets measured gets better. Get a timer.